Once upon a time, a beautiful poem had been written by Gabriel Okara. In the first stanza, the poet says to his child that there is genuine change has happened in the behavior of the people. Their smile was certified. He used to smile generously. Presently they laugh falsely, having no sentiments. Presently their attitude has changed. The depiction of laugh with their teeth delineates somebody showing false interest. The dark symbolism, ice block cold eyes, which follows shows that there is no feeling or feeling in the activity. They additionally took a gander at the foundation being uninterested in the man. In the second stanza, the poet tells his child that sometime in the past, people met each other generously and warmly shake hand. However time changes each individual, all good intentions have gone at this point. Everyone is zeroing in on their own benefit. The utilization of a metaphor underscores how there is absence of trust as everyone is attempting to utilize one another. In those days, people cordial term with others. Generously, however, nowadays individuals make friends outwardly and attempt to think about how rich one is prior to make friendship. The expression empty pockets could a con it that he has been deprived of all genuine satisfaction and has been left feeling empty and alone. In the third stanza, the poet features another part of individuals' practices. He say that individuals welcome others agreeable, yet not keen on inviting the guest generously. They only incredible for welcoming the guest heartily. Individuals welcome someone to get back home. However, when that man visited them, then their response appears to be totally different. It resembles they have closed entryways for that man or for some other guest. They don't get the guest third time. In the fourth stanza has been centered around how people will in general change their look for different occasion. Individuals will in general have an alternate smile like a fixed picture that won't ever change. Despite the fact the poet tells his child that he has taken in the misleadingly and mechanical standard of behavior of present-day man, he has figured out how to smile with no sentiments and furthermore has figured out how to manage this hard, deceitful world by turning out to be very much like every one individual. In the fifth stanza, the poet is saying that there is no obvious feeling in his words and sentiments, and they are said with simply his tongue and not his heart, generally in this poem. The poet shows how the environment affects how he acts, how he is sincerely segregated from others, how it has annihilated his energy, and how it has made his heart cruel. The poet has adjusted to the climate around him and that he has picked up the unfortunate quirks that are floating around him. He has figured out how to laugh without joy and to snicker just for the sake of chuckling. In the sixth stanza, the poet tells his child, who isn't influenced by the environment and the society, that how he used to feel the poet says in the first time through of the stanza. Yet, trust me, child, emphasizing with regret, I need to be what I used to be. I need to forget every one of these things. These lines portray his franticness to return to his old, honest ways, where he felt life was extremely basic and his feelings were straightforward. It additionally portrays his expectation and wants to forget every one of the unfortunate quirks he has picked up throughout the long term. In the last stanza, the poet asks, his child nearly begs him to assist him with recovering the positive routines he has lost and to show him how to have true honest emotions. He communicates a craving 
to forget whatever he has forced himself to figure out how to adjust to the environment and society. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.